what's going on everyone vega here for serpent x tech and in this video we'll be taking a look at the rx 7900 xtx hash rates or mining performance now i will just summarize it and say that this generation of gpu from amd is not very efficient we're in this new stage not only with amd but nvidia and intel where it requires so much more power just to hit new performance targets and it's quite unfortunate because the red bios tool the more power tool won't work on these cards um and we've seen this before with 6000 series it took quite some time for us to be able to manipulate or kind of fine tune the, the 6000 series gpu i expect something similar here with the 7000 series but it's a lackluster performer unfortunately we are able to get 100 mega hash on the xtx where we couldn't get it with the xt however it's at a huge sacrifice of around 390 watts where the 3080 can get at least uh, you know, 100 mega hash at 230, 225 watts. So it's definitely underperforming. I believe, um, you know, one of the biggest concerns here is thermals with these GPUs. If you got an AIB model, you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. If you got a reference model, just follow whatever the manufacturer guidelines or whatever the RMA, RMA or whatever AMD is saying, because I know they're they're trying to resolve some of the issues with some of those people that have reference thermal issues on their reference models. But down in the description is the Reddit post where you can see all the data. I'm not going to read it out to you, but I'm just going to go through the basics of where we just do have the link to the live stream. Uh, we only saw a hot spot temperature of 92C throughout my testing, and I was able to get the core up quite high. It's about 3.4 gigahertz uh, and the memory up to 2.8 gigahertz. So AMD driver 23.1.1. AMD has got to continue to make optimizations, but also minor devs got to continue to make updates because not all algorithms in these miners work or not all miners work. All that's in this Reddit post in the description. You can see here I got ePash, I got ETC hash, uh, Caspa, Ravencoin, so on and so forth. But stock, you're drawing 390 watts, 390, 395 watts at the wall. Software is not too far off. If you get the latest hardware info, it's going to be like four to six watts off of whatever your kilowatt meter is, depending on your kilowatt meter and setup, and and you know obviously identifying what your idle draw is. But 100 mega hash at 390 watts, not very efficient. You could fine tune it. But then you're looking around like 87, 85 mega hash at 275 watts, somewhere in there. K, uh, K heavy hash or Caspa, you know, 1.22 giga hash at 240 watts, 245 is what the best I can get. Ravencoin can hit 60 mega hash, but you're drawing 450 watts when you're pushing the power limit as hard as you can, plus 15. However, fine tuning uh, down to about 55.4 mega hash, around 350 watts at the wall at 340, somewhere in there. Flux. I tested out two miners, uh, obviously uh, G miner and LOL miner, but LOL miner seems to be the better performer. Now I do say 102, 103.8 souls stock at 390 watts, but just now um, I was able to get 300, at 350 watts, 1.8 souls and running my setup. And I do use the Radeon uh, tool to, to overclock. I did play around with the MSI afterburner, the beta version um, after it was updated. Uh, but it's it's still it's a very mixed bag. Let me explain that real quick. You can start mining with a certain set of clocks, and you might see, say, for example, 108 souls, and then you might put load up your game and apply the exact same clocks that you had previously, but then it'd be 102, 103 souls. So there's a lot of variance and variability. It's it's not consistent. It's very inconsistent, and I think that might be uh, helped or that can be fixed when Hive provides an update. Now, Hive OS, last time I checked, when I tried to boot with the 7000 series GPU, it would just load the, the, the resources, go to detect the GPU, and then lock up. And they may have updated it, but I'm not aware of one at time of filming. Uh, and I believe once they do, we are, it, we're gonna be a little bit, uh, have a little bit more control so we can lock, it, lock down the core, lock down the man, lock down voltage, and probably get a little bit more efficiency than we would see on a Windows system. Now, believe it or not, the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine for this particular series GPU, not only the XT, but the XTX, was Grin or Kaka232. Uh, the best I saw was, um, you know, 1.55 souls at around 300 watts at the wall. Uh, also got some dual mining statistics in here. Uh, you know, you're going to be anywhere between 87 to 90 mega hash on ETH hash, uh, maybe a little bit less depending uh, again, on the variability of the GPU and, and the clock and the settings, stuff like that. Uh, but 350 watts, uh, 87, you know, 87 to 90 mega hash on Eve, almost 1800 mega hash on Caspa or, excuse me, Blake 3 Alpham. Uh, and then Caspa is around 900 mega hash and then 60 
to 65 mega hash on ETH around 350 watts. Conceal was also very impressive. Uh, stock still drawing that 390 watts, but a little bit of fine tuning. We were able to get it down to 300 watts, 5,680 hashes. I have a typo here that I need to fix apparently. Um, and then, you know, SRB minor, ETH hash, ETC hash, basically the same that we've seen with LOL minor. But Ergo was very interesting. For example, Ergo would not work or would not reach its full potential uh, no matter what I did. And if I get out of your way here, you're going to see the same thing. I do have other algorithms in here. If you want to check it out, it's on the Reddit post uh, where I tested various algorithms, not just the main ones that everybody uh, talks about. But Autolyco is still getting that 173. Really, it should be a lot higher than that. Um, and I'll explain in just a moment. But you can see here all the various algorithms. And that's all going to be in the Reddit post for you guys to check out. But real quick, Ergo should be getting around 500, close to 500 mega hash on, um, you know, excavator, nice, nice hash excavator, the XT model, and then 700 mega hash on the XTX model. But while nice hash and the excavator miner worked on the XT, it did not want to work on the XTX, kept airing out even offline after I was done with the live stream. Um, and I'm not sure why. So we're waiting for minor devs to come out and hopefully we can see the full potential of Ergo or Autolycos on the 7000 series GPU. So it's just going to take some more time. And then the, uh, the other, the second most or third most profitable cryptocurrency that there was to mine for the 7000 series was actually Radiant. Um, and the best I could get was almost, uh, you know, 1890 mega hash at 250 Watts at the wall. So this one's very, uh, much more power efficient than some of the other algorithms and you can get, it, it's more profitable. And we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Here's some of the miners that would not work or would not load whatsoever. And then additional algos tested as previously mentioned. The card is a very beautiful card. It does keep it nice and cool. The XFX team did a good job. Uh, dual bio switch, all the bells and whistles. Now looking at uh, what to mine, which what I use the custom preset to kind of configure my own information. Uh, again, not all algos were working, but the ones that were working, I was able to plug in the data for it. And uh, Grin, CT32, is the most profitable. It has been for quite some time. Obviously, NiceHash uh, offers it as well. So that could be an option for people that want to accumulate Bitcoin instead of Grin. Uh, but then Conceal just took up the number two spot when Radiant has been there for days since my testing. But Radiant, Conceal... Grin and even some of the Kapow type coins like Ravencoin and Noxa um, were really good or very profitable uh, as with the 7000 series GPU. But it's going to take time, right? Will the Red Bios editor team uh, come out with another update that allows us to manipulate, play around with time and stuff like that? We'll just have to wait and see. Um, will the more power tool allow us to, you know, bring down that power draw even further with a little bit of tuning and manipulation? We'll have to wait and see. AMD needs to update their drivers. And minor devs need more time with the GPU to really optimize their miners for it. Uh, the BZ minor dev is uh, in the process of trying to get the 7000 series working, uh, even with other algos that maybe aren't as popular but are uh, seeked by the community. Uh, but bear with everybody, not just uh, BZ minor, but the various dev uh, minor devs because they have full time jobs, families, all that good stuff, and they're just doing all this on their free time when available. So just be patient and bear with them as they move forward. But that's the data. Check it out in the description below. And that's all I have for you today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed, hit notification bell to stay up to date, as well as check out the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. Uh, I'll additionally, not only with the Reddit link, if there's any additional links that I can put in there for data or information, I will do so as well. But besides that, you have a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.